Good evening and welcome. Happy Nowruz, Nowruzetan Piruz. I am Ali Reza Ardakani, Executive Director of Farhang Foundation here in Los Angeles, and we are thrilled to have you join us for Farhang's 12th annual celebration of Nowruz, the Iranian New Year. For those of you who may not be familiar with Farhang Foundation, we are a member-supported, non-political, non-religious, not-for-profit cultural foundation established in 2008 with a sole mission to celebrate and promote Iranian art and culture for the benefit of the community at large. We genuinely believe that the world needs to learn more about Iran's rich and beautiful art, culture, literature, and history. To that point, one of our most significant and impactful annual programs is our much beloved celebration of No Rules. Regretfully this year, because of the current pandemic, we cannot hold our traditional grand celebration on the beautiful campus of UCLA here in Los Angeles, where every year we get together with over 25,000 visitors for a day long celebration of this tremendous Iranian holiday. However, tonight we are thrilled to be able to welcome you all to this virtual celebration with over 4,000 of you in attendance joining us from all over the globe. As we were preparing for this year's celebration, we reached out to Iranian artists from three continents and invited them to participate in this year's program. We were thrilled with all the fantastic and talented artists who graciously accepted our invitation to be with us tonight. Without further ado, let's kick off the celebrations and travel to beautiful Napa Valley in California, where the Melikov Fatih Dance Company has put together a beautiful and graceful performance from the Persepolis-inspired setting of Daryush Winery. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome principal dancer and choreographer Melikov Fatih, accompanied by dancers Diana Yazdi and Lila Kazeruni. Performing to Rusari Abi by Ali Zand Vakili. <laughs> به جونم تش تش سدی آتش به جون ما روز شنالم به کوه ها دشت تش سنم بردشت به جون تو تش سنم بردشت به جون تو آخ دل زارم اسیر ترا و رفتارم در مسیر ته آهوی دلم زبون بس در چنگ شیرته اسیر ته در چنگ شیرته اسیر ته خوشون ساعت یار مهرون که گردی عروس خونمون بیارنت هر گل زیبا همه دستم شام کل زنون هر نابی گل نازک رو سر یابی به دشت خوش که دل تشنه خونک مثل چشمه آبی به دشت خوش که دل تشنه خونک مثل چشمه آبی رو سر یابی به جونم تش تش سدی آتش به جون ما روز شنالون به کوه ها دشت تش سنم بردشت به جون تو تش سنم بردشت به جون تو آخ دل زارم اسیر ترا و رفتارم در مسیر ته آهوی دلم زبون بس در چنگ شیر ته اسیر ته در چنگ شیر ته اسیر ته آخ دلت آبی یار مهتابی کار دل رفته رو به بیتابی رو سری آبی رو سری آبی در دل دریام گوهر نابی بی تا 
تو دل میگیره سر چشم رو سر یابی دختر چشم رو سر یابی به جونم تش تش زدی آتش به جون ما روز شنالون به کوها دشت هش سنم بردشت به جون تو تش سنم بردشت به جون تو آخ دل زارم اسیر ترا و رفتارم در مسیر ته آهوی دلم زبون بسه در چنگ شیرته اسیر ته در چنگ شیرته اسیر ته Thank you to Melika Fati Dance Company for that stunning performance and what a great way to kick off tonight's celebration. Now let's travel to Tehran for an exclusive performance by Iran's superb Iska Orchestra under the direction of Mahdi Nouruzi. The Iska Orchestra first wowed our audience just this past February with their moving rendition of Dukhtar Boyar Ahmadi. We are delighted to have them back again tonight for another performance arranged especially for Nowruz. According to Mr. Nowruzi, this performance celebrates spring's arrival and the hope for a full year of blossoms and smiles. Tonight, they will be performing the nostalgic classic beloved song Shukufe, arranged by Ataullah Khurram, originally performed by the legendary Vigen. Ladies and gentlemen, Please join me in welcoming the Iska Orchestra. Berim.
I hope the Iska Orchestra can hear the thousands of you who are no doubt cheering from all over the world. And we thank them for this moving performance. Keep a lookout for Iska as they are currently planning their next European tour, The Woman of Shahnameh, which they hope to launch post pandemic. Now it is my honor to introduce Fahang Foundation's Chairman of the Board of Trustees, Mr. Hormoz Ahmedi. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for attending Farhang Foundation's 12th annual Nowruz event and for joining us this year in virtual format in celebrating this ancient tradition. My name is Hormoz Amiri, and as the chairman of the Board of Trustees of Farhang Foundation, I have the privilege and the distinct pleasure of gifting our Nowruz program to you on behalf of our esteemed Board of Trustees. It was almost exactly a year ago, which in a flash the world as we knew it changed as a result of the global pandemic. And we at Farhang had to respond to a reality which we didn't choose and to make decisions with agility in bringing Farhang Foundation through it in a way that was courageous, honorable, and connected. And we are very pleased to have witnessed Farhang continue to strive during this pandemic in ways that we could have never imagined a year ago. We managed to not only keep promoting and celebrating our Iranian arts and culture, but to succeed in staying relevant by successfully adapting to extraordinary and challenging circumstances while expanding our audience more extensively than ever before and deepening the relationships with communities we touch. In fact, these past 12 months have turned out to be the busiest in Farhang's history, with our programming continuing to expand and attract audiences worldwide over the past year. It is truly inspiring to see the leadership that our Board of Trustees has provided during this trying period, and the depth and variety of projects and virtual programs that our councils and committees have worked so hard to develop and organize with our excellent management team who have professionally executed on all these great programs and initiatives. And we at Farhang never forget that we owe all of this to you, our Farhang supporters. Without your support, none of this would have been possible. So thank you. Tonight, as we embark on celebrating our 12th annual celebration of Nowruz, I cannot help but to think back on what we have accomplished over the past 12 years. We have proudly brought our Iranian culture and Nowruz in particular to the forefront of the community at large in Southern California. As our annual Nowruz banners proudly fly throughout the streets of Los Angeles, we have announced the arrival of Nowruz starting on February 1st to all the residents of the City of Angels. Farhang's mission has always been to promote and celebrate the rich and beautiful art and culture of Iran. And the annual Nowruz celebrations are the most important and impactful ways in which we have successfully accomplished this mission. I am humbled by the dedication of the hundreds of supporters and volunteers who are the key in making this program a reality year after year. A special thank you to all the dedicated artists and performers who passionately join us in making this celebration so memorable. I am very grateful and appreciative of the passionate effort that our Farhang management team puts into this marquee event of our foundation to ensure its resounding success. The crises of the past year have made it clear that the mission of Farhang is more important and relevant than ever. And in the spirit of Nowruz, which is the essence of renewal, and as we look to the future, we begin by ensuring that our foundation has the resources, organization, and leadership, which will be required to navigate unknown challenges and that the work of Farhang continues to benefit the community at large. On behalf of Farhang Foundation's Board of Trustees and the entire Farhang family, I wish you a very happy and prosperous Nowruz. Nowruz Piruz. 
Thank you, Hormoz John, and to the entire Fahang Foundation Board of Trustees for your leadership and guidance through this past challenging year. Over the past 12 years, Fahang has been celebrating no rules, both in Los Angeles and in Orange County. And these celebrations continue to grow year after year. Tonight, we wanted to take a few minutes to share with you some of our favorite moments from these past celebrations. So let's take a look together. guests are longtime collaborators of Fahang Foundation, and we are always honored to have them grace our stage. They have been described by the Huffington Post as an evolutionary force in contemporary Middle Eastern music. Tonight, they have chosen to perform a piece of music that would be familiar to many Iranians and would take us all back home. It is a song called Asemune Abi by the legendary singer Simin Qanem. And frontwoman Azam Ali chose it for its beautiful melody and nostalgic lyrics. Please help me welcome 
the one and only Niaz, featuring Azam Ali. Hello, my name is Azam Ali. On behalf of myself and all the members of Niaz, I would like to thank Farhang Foundation for inviting us to be part of this year's Noru celebration. We hope you enjoy this special song we have prepared for you. We would like to wish you all a happy Nowruz. May health, prosperity, and contentment flourish in your lives and the lives of all those you love. And may love forever bloom in the garden of your hearts. Thank you to Azam Ali, Ramin Torkian, and Sinan Sem Eroglu for that breathtaking performance. Now we travel to Milan, Italy to visit an incredible father and son duo. Ramtin Ghazavi is the first and only Iranian to sing at the world famous La Scala Theater of Milan. He has performed in such opera productions as La Traviata, La Boheme, Tosca, and Madame Butterfly. He is joined by his 11-year-old piano prodigy son, Davin Ghazavi, who was admitted to the prestigious Milan Conservatory of Music at the young age of six. Tonight, they will be performing two selections for us, including Buye Baran, Buye Sabze, followed by the original song, Bahar Ahmad, written by Ramtin Ghazavi and arranged for piano by Davin Ghazavi. Ladies and gentlemen, please help welcome Ramtin Ghazavi and Davin Ghazavi. Oh, no. 
It is truly an honor to welcome our next guest. He is one of the leading renowned world authorities on Persian language, literature, Iranian culture, and civilization. He is a professor at the University of Maryland, as well as UCLA, and he is the author of over 19 books and more than 100 scholarly articles. We are also proud to have him as a longtime member of Farhang Foundation's esteemed advisory committee. It is my honor and privilege to present Dr. Ahmad Karimi Hakak. Nowruz, literally meaning new day, has through the centuries lived up to its name in wondrous ways. It celebrates not this or that religion or creed or people or nation, but our common humanity because its ultimate object of observation is not anything that relates to part of our humanity, but it's the one that relates to our, the nature of hum, our humanity, and that is the natural world, and how the natural world seems to come out of wintry cold and icy silence and begin to be clad in new garbs and in new ways putting its beauty on display. So in real ways, Nauruz is a time of observing nature 
in all of its beauty and related to our humanity. One nature, of course, uses one way of renewing itself and rejuvenating. Human beings use another thing, mental house cleaning. And that's why a house cleaning, a literal house cleaning, is part of Nowruz celebration. So human beings are moved to thoughts of mental house cleaning. It's interesting that one of the customs of Nowruz uh, is if you're angry at someone, if you have stopped a relationship, you, you are not allowed to carry it over into the new year. You have to shed that. And no matter who is at fault and who is right and who is wrong, it's a time when reconciliation has to happen. And reconciliation is part of that house cleaning, mental house cleaning that everyone goes through. If you think of Western Asia, if you think of the Iranian plateau, you'll see the harsh winters of Hindu Kush, of today's Afghanistan and northern Iran. Those harsh winters are unrelenting. And when it, that winter comes to an end and nature begins its, its own springy uh, hues, then of course, no ruse makes sense. And that's what people are carrying over into new centuries. It was of course celebrated by Mazdians, Zoroastrians, but then when Islam came to Iran, Iranians began to uh, celebrate it in Islamic ways. They, they worked certain changes into it, but it, it, it remained the, the head of the calendar and the beginning of the new year. One of the important things about Nowruz is that many peoples in Western Asia on the Iranian plateau used to celebrate Nowruz. But Iranians were the first people who made it the head of their calendar, the first day of their new year. In many uh, works of literature and architecture, Nowruz is registered as one, a time of the display of one's humanity, of magnanimity, of tending to the poor, of caring for each other, and of cleansing your heart of all kinds of old animosities and such. So that, that has been wrought into the texture of Nowruz as well. In recent centuries, at, as one Iranian empire after another has given way to the new country of Iran, this has become most uh, identified with Iranianness. But of course, at the present time, not only Iranians, but Afghans, Central Asians, uh, Azerbaijanis, the Turks, everybody who is affected by the climb, by the climate of uh, the coming of Nowruz and the beginning of springtime is celebrates it. I recall that when I was growing up, uh, the ritual of buying new clothes and not being able to wear them before Nowruz comes, but on the day of Nowruz, putting up a new, a new uh, clothes, putting on a new clothes was a, a genuine part of Nowruz. And we would then go to aunts and uncles and such, and then aunts and uncles would come to our home in the afternoon because my father was not only the head of our household, but he was the, the head of the whole clan. So everyone has memory, personal memories, familial memories, and also collective memories of Nauru's. And that's the secret of its survival because its appeal is not to what we identify ourselves as, as part of humanity, but as one human being among all human beings. As Nowruz approaches, people celebrate the end of the year that's about to go away. And Iranians do so by making fires and jumping over the fire and wishing uh, the best for themselves and their, their acquaintances. And so it is the celebration a celebration that comes closest to Halloween in American culture, and yet it's, it, it ushers in no ruse. And of course, the moment of the change of the year, because it has to do with the signs of the zodiac, it, it rotates uh, uh, during the time of the day, because the, Earth, the Earth's revolution around the sun does not take place in 365 days exactly, but in 365 days and six hours and eight minutes and some seconds. And, and of course, after 13 days of exchanges of visits and, and all kinds of 
uh, you know, the celebrations and festivities that people have gone, have gone to, there's this 13th outing. On the 13th of the first, the first month of Nowruz, people go outing because it's supposed to be uh, inauspicious, and so people try to spend it away into the nature and renew themselves in that way, looking at nature and learning how they can replicate what happens in the renewal and rejuvenation that happens in nature naturally. Let me end on this note. Have a great new day, a great new year, and a very new, happy life. Thank you. Thank you to Dr. Karimi Hakak for that very prolific talk on the significance of our beautiful Nowruz. After that great talk, it is only fitting to listen to beautiful classical Iranian music. And so we travel over to Paris and join the all-female ensemble Atin comprised of lead singer Aida Nosrat and musicians Sogol Mirzahi, Christine Zaed, Marie-Suzanne Deloé, and Sarar Khadem. Tonight, they join us from the 360 Paris Music Factory Studios, and they have chosen to perform a tier based on the poem of Sheikh Baha'i. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Atin.
Thank you to the Atina Ensemble for this excellent AD and for joining tonight's celebrations. One of Nowruz's greatest elements that we always look forward to here at Farhang is each year's grand have seen display that we install as a centerpiece of our annual Nowruz celebrations in Los Angeles and Orange County. Since this year, we cannot welcome you all to visit our have seen in person. We thought we should take a look at just some of the most outstanding have seen designs of the past. So let's watch together.
Although we are not able to have a grand half scene present at this year's celebration, I am happy to announce that for those of you living in Los Angeles, Farhang Foundation has once again joined forces with the Westfield Century City. And earlier today, we unveiled a beautiful grand half scene in the heart of Century City. So please do stop by over the next 10 days and visit this beautiful display and share it with your friends and family. A special thanks to the entire team at After Eight Events Productions and Paymon Paxot for this year's beautiful design. Tonight's program marks the start of this year's many celebrations of No Rules by Farhang Foundation. And I'd like to share some of our upcoming collaborations and programming, premiering in the forthcoming weeks. Farhang Foundation is honored to collaborate with one of the living legends of Iranian music, Master Kehan Kathor, to present an exclusive new concert event live from Kashan, Iran, this March 27th and 28th, right here on farhang.org. Let's take a brief look at its teaser now. I am happy to announce that on behalf of Farhang Foundation's Orange County Council, the Kehan Kalhor Lost in the Desert Sky in memory of Muhammad Reza Shajarian will be presented free of charge to all residents of Southern California on March 27th and 28th. So please visit farhang.org forward slash Kalhor to register and save your spot today. And thank you to our Orange County Council for this great Nowruz gift to the entire community. Now let's travel to Boston's Museum of Fine Arts to visit the young Iranian soprano and composer Shuka Afshar, performing one of her original compositions titled Nowruz, Stay on Touch, with lyrics from Ferdowsi Shahnameh, Epic Book of Kings. Hello everyone, happy Nowruz, Nowruzetun Mubarak. I hope you're all doing well. I would like to wish you a wonderful new year full of happiness and joy amidst all the hardships we've been through in the last year. My name is Shuka Afshar. I'm an Iranian soprano based in Boston. I would like to first thank the Farhang Foundation for having me here today. It is my honor to be participating in their Nowruz event. I would like to tell you something about the song I'm presenting you today with. The name is Nowruz State Untouched. This song is a part of an original album I composed about Iran and its history throughout the last 2,500 years. In this song, I'm depicting the beauty of Nowruz tradition and how this tradition, like a glue, has held our culture together, whereas a lot of the other traditions change throughout the time. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, 
This year, Fahang Foundation joined forces with the prestigious New West Symphony of Southern California to plan one of their upcoming Global Sounds Local Cultures concerts. We are proud to partner with this exceptional organization, and I would like to introduce you to Michael Christie, Artistic and Music Director of the New West Symphony, to share more about their upcoming Tour of Iran concert. Hello, my name is Michael Christie, Artistic and Music Director of Southern California's New West Symphony. Welcome to the Tour of Iran edition of our Global Sounds Local Culture Season. This festival is presented in partnership with Farhang Foundation and contributions from the Iranian Female Composers Association. Festival highlights include performances by percussionist Pejman Hadadi, sitar virtuoso Masoud Razai, Santur player Hamid Saidi, mezzo-soprano Sasha Cook, and choreographer Melika Fati. Come join us for this musical voyage. The Tour of Iran concert promises to be a fantastic journey in meshing together Iranian traditional music with classical Western music. So be sure to mark your calendar for April 11th and visit newwestsymphony.org or farhang.org for passes and more info. One of Farhang Foundation's key initiatives is to provide Persian language and culture after school classes to kindergarten through high school students of Southern California free of charge. In addition to the language and cultural classes, we have also launched an Iranian dance class under the direction of dancer and choreographer Nazanin Badi. Although the students have not been able to meet in person this past year, they have prepared a virtual special Nooruz performance for you tonight. So without further ado, please welcome the talented students of the Syriana Elementary School under the direction of Ms. Nazanin Badi. <laughs>
We have one more fantastic performance in store for you by an incredible artist that we have admired for many years. It is my pleasure to finally welcome her to Farhang Foundation stage tonight. She will be joining us all the way from Tehran. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the incomparable Mahdiye Muhammad Khani, accompanied by renowned musician Azad Mirzapur and their exceptional ensemble, performing the world premiere of Mahanegar. Oh, 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 oh. 
این یارا پای جنونش میکشد ما را روی جماعت مردابانم سلف سیاحت چون شب یلا نوبهار من امید جانم توی ای قرار من همه جانم توی نوبهار من امید جانم تو کس ندارم برده ای قرارم ای مهان دارم من مست خیالت جز تو کس ندارم Wow, what an incredible performance to close this evening with. I have to thank all our amazing guests who helped make tonight's Nowruz celebration possible. Special thanks to our Nowruz committee and all our generous members and supporters who help make this and every Farhang program and initiative a reality. If tonight's event has inspired you and you're passionate about what Farhang Foundation stands for, and if you would like to help support our mission to present compelling and impactful programs and initiatives promoting Iran's beautiful art and culture to the global community, please consider supporting our Farhang. Visit farhang.org now and become a full member or donate and support us at any amount. If you missed any part of tonight's program, or if you wish to share this program with your friends and family, starting tonight, it will be available in full via farhang.org. Thank you again for joining us tonight. On behalf of everyone here at Farhang Foundation, we wish you a very healthy, happy, safe, and prosperous new year. We look forward to welcoming you back again next year in person here in Los Angeles at UCLA. No Ruzetan Piruz.
کند برای من عشق میان آشقان شیره کند برای من من ترابم ترب منم من ترابم ترب منم ظهر زند نوای من عشق میان آشغان شیبه کند برای من عشق میان آشغان شیبه کند برای من شان کشم شرخ فلک حسد بره زان چه کند به جای من زان چه کند به جای من